So today we have a very special, beautiful verse from Shila Bhakti Vinod, uh, not Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Naratam Das Thakur. And I'm so excited to share It's about the mercy of Sri Guru and it's it's so heart melting. I Ah Shukadeva Das Radhe <laughs> Shukadeva Das Beautiful Radhe So Naratam Dastaku and his Prema Bhakti Chandrika is writing Shri Guru Bhakata Jana Taharak Chara Nemana Aropia Kata Unusare Sakira Savata Mata Haya Tahara Yuta Sada Ibihare Praja Pure It's verse 99 from Rema Bhakti Chandrika. Hmm. Since it is said in the scriptures, my voice comes okay with this uh, microphones like that. I mean, I have a naturally it should be, it loud should, voice, but it should be. Please give a sign if you don't hear it properly. It should, it should be, be good fine. enough, huh? It should be fine. It has been said, or oh, since it has been said in the scriptures, that it is absolutely necessary in order to destroy anathas and to swiftly attain prema, to meditate on the lotus feet of Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas, the devotees, I act accordingly. I will always obey the Sakis being in one of their groups and thus I will always enjoy in the abode of Raja. Well, this is very interesting. In the same verse, he's first speaking about the Sadakadeha and then jumping to Siddhadeha. Is that amazing? Listen again. Since it is said in the scriptures that it is absolutely necessary in order to destroy anathas and to swiftly attain prema, to meditate on the lotus feet of Shikuru and the devotees, I act accordingly. I will meditate, I will jump to their lotus feet, I will worship their personalities and serve them by my, my worship is to serve them. And then what happens? All the obstacles are destroyed and Prema is swiftly attained. And that is so amazing that swiftly attaining Prema, he says in the next sentence, I will always obey the Sakis. So the Sakis are the gopis in the spiritual world. These are our groups of Prema circles. Being in one of their groups, he writes, and thus I will always enjoy in the abode of Raja. Wow, I love this verse. I just, I just found it. You know, I just, it just came to me. I always like to feel when I prepare uh, for the uh, our sessions how the verses are so full of life and how they speak. Uh, to all of us and how they come like they want to manifest themselves in their feelings and in their expressions. And now comes the purport to this verse from Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur and it's called Devotion to Sri Guru and Vaishnavas. The Ragar Margya Sadhana is of two kinds. Service like hearing and chanting 
rendered to Shiguru and Vaishnava in external body and mental service rendered to Shri Shri Radha Mohan through the eight periods of the day within the mentally conceived Siddhadeha. So service is of two kinds. One of the services is to do our uh, daily activities like hearing and chanting and reading and singing and dancing and going to arti and offering some nice boga, some lovingly peeled apples or bananas or some lovingly cooked kitchari to Thakurji's, to Radha Mohan, to Nitai Gaurasun. That is what we are doing with our Sadakadeya. And inside, which nobody can see, which is very private, and my own heart and soul, I mentally connect with them and always think, what are they doing now? Where is my Swamini now? Oh, it is seven o'clock in the morning. She's going to Nandagawa. Oh, I have to prepare Farafinelia. I have to get one very thin white sari for the cooking. I have to be ready to walk with her from Yava to Nandagawa. And I want to be of service while she's cooking. I'm so excited. What will Swamini cook today for more? So like this inside and outside, they flow together. And while I'm doing my services, I'm meditating like this as much as is possible to connect the inside and the outside meditation. And in this mentally conceived Siddhadeya, I put on my golden dress of love, my soul body's dress of Satchit Ananda, of Prema Bhakti, and Sri Guru. Our Gurudev has given this dress to me. It's all prashad from Shimati Radhika. It's prashadi blouse and prashadi skirt and all dobata, all beautiful ornaments. All this is the prashad of my Guru Manjari, of my Swamini. And of these two kinds of sadhanas that are going hand in hand during the day as much as possible. Shilatako Mahashai first mentions the servants rendered to the lotus feet of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas. Oh, because they are around us, they are now here. They are here with me, with all of us in this world. They are our close, near and dear friends and support and shelter and, uh, you know, my, our soul partners, so to say, our soul family. We are having the same goal. And this is says, Shri Guru Bhakata Jana Tahara Charane Mana Aropiya Kata Anusara it means that it is absolutely necessary to devote oneself to the lotus feet of Shiguru and the Vaishnavas to destroy all negative habits and to attain prema during the process of hearing and chanting the Bhakti Shastras. 
we all know what the bad habits are. Maybe, you know, one time we were smoking or we were, you know, addictions to different, different kinds, what we don't really like, but what has become habit. Too much of this, too much of this, like a, a hole in the heart we try to fill, fill by external habits. There are many of these things that we experience in our human existence. And here, Narottam Dastak was giving the remedy, the recipe. He is our doctor, our spiritual doctor. He says, if we become attached, if we develop relationships to Sri Guru and the Vaishnavas, to all our dear brothers and sisters, then these relations will be so helpful and so nourishing that all external uh, habits can be easily given up. And then we can work on the subtle habits, the anarthas, the unwanted desires, like asking for attention all of the time, like a small baby who did not get so much attention from the mama or the papa. Many things are there. We all know them. Desire for the name and the fame to be special. Envy, jealousy, illusion, criticizing, fault finding, all the, the, the human habits of negative thinking have to be purified. So this purification is by the help of Shikuru and Vaishnavas. And it will destroy, it will be like a fire. You know, the rain of the mercy. We sing every morning or whenever we have the time and whenever we feel the deep connection is needed. We sing this samsara dhapa nalali galuka chanaya karunya kanaganatpam Oh my dear Gurudev, I am burning in the fire of material existence. In this fire, there are so many hot spots. I mean, really hot spots. My house is burning. I cannot pay the bills. I am envious or I have, you know, many problems in my life. Always some fire is coming and burning me. If one hole is fixed, then there's another hole. Thank you for coming to support me. Yes. <clears throat> I just come from Gurudev. <laughs> you Guru, wake up? Guru, Gurudev's multiple snack bar. <laughs> Jai Ho! <laughs> yes, there's a snack bar in the mercy of Guru and Vaishnavas. Always when we are hungry, they give us some food. So many... Uh, Devotees are inspired to bring some snacks to him afternoon. <laughs> they bring a uh, Mahaba brought some nice sala, very healthy. Wow. And uh, yeah, many others came also. One come with coffee. <clears throat> our uh, priest, our. He came with chai tea. Wow. And, uh, so, so this happened here. This is so much seva, and all are inspired so much to do this. And this is actually, you're in the Prima uh, Bhakti Chandrika, no? Yes. Nahotang. This is what actually Nahotang is telling us in this book how to behave, what is meaning of Gaudiya Vaishnava, 
Yeah, exactly. We are just in the subject. How do you know? This is super soul. What? Which verse you are reading? Ninety-nine, and it was just about this. When we are in devotion to Guru and Vaishnavas, oh, okay. it will destroy all the bad things in our lives. You see, this is all connected on this place. In Vrindavan, it's all like you can come whenever you like. You get the topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember we in the night time. I enter in your book because I love it very much now. Because of your inspiration, I start to read it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Narottam explain what is the meaning of Gaudiya Vaishnava. This is all good, this person, because he, he gives this to us, no? it's yeah. not ourselves. No. And uh, right, it all came through Gurudev. But it's only happened in the direct line when there is a guru connected to that. What is the meaning of Gauda, Gaudiya Vaishnava? Otherwise, when there <coughs> is a, a cut somewhere in the line, you will not get it. And um, for example, Navatanda has always again and again make the point of Siddhadeya. You cannot be a Gaudiya Vaishnava without following the Goswamis. And what they are teaching us, they are teaching us about the Siddhadeya, about the service, about to live in Raj, how to behave, how to get the Ishtadev, how to be fixed in the service. This is meaning of Gaudiya Vaishnava. Without the spiritual body, there is no meaning of Gaudiya Vaishnava. This is only happened to be in Braj with our Siddhadeya. And in our case, by the mercy of our Guru Dev, it's clear that we are in the mood of the Manjaris. And even Nahotam Das in his beautiful book, what is Suniti explaining, he is exactly teaching the same. Always in this Manjali bath, in the service, and even he teach how to meditate on the Mahamant. So beautiful book, Sumiti. Get, get the point from Nahota. And he is, he is in this bath. He is actually, he is a Manjari, and he teach us how to meditate on this, how to bring our, he's also, there are many prayers no, to the mind. And by this he is teaching us how to pray to the mind, that the mind becomes one-pointed and remember the form, the pastimes, the feelings, the different inhabitants of Raj. And if we remember this, we can enter this abode by controlling the mind in deep meditation of the pastimes of our Yuga Lakishore, our ever fresh young loving couple, Rata Moha. Also actually, in this book, we can find everything, all teachings. And he is, a, he is really Acharya. And if we follow him, then we can say we are also Gaudiya Vaishnava. Yes, and in this verse, which I found just by 
the accidents, it is he is so nicely explaining in two sentences. No? Yeah. In two sentences, he is saying we have to. The scriptures say we have to follow Lotus Feet of Sri Guru and the devotees, and then I follow. And then he jumps into Siddha Deha and says, wow. I will always obey the Sakis, being in one of their groups, I will always enjoy in the abode of Raj. Wow. So amazing, he makes it very simple. Yes. And when we are in Vrindavan, isn't it so easy, Gauda? Because every one of us, we are also the, in the group of Urdhi, right? And Radha Mohan's service he is our, you know, Guru Manchari, so she is advising us how to do service. We follow her service. Like he said, I have no more voice when he came from the hospital. And then he says, you have to be my voice. Yes, Guru, if we want to be your voice, make us, yes. make us your voice. Hundred percent. We have to serve him and the other Sakis, this is in this described. It is a natural. Uh, uh, we ha yes, and it is. It is not complicated to, to understand this. Um, even in this material abode, we have to follow others who ha has more experience of different things. If we like to learn, and they are ready to teach us. But we have to ask them, please, please teach us. I'm very greedy to understand and to enter in the service of Radha Moha. And this asking is given by Gurudev how to ask uh, beings who are on a higher level to us. And these are the Gayatri Mantras. These are the secrets how to ask higher beings like the Sakis with our material understanding. We cannot ask them. We don't have the capacity to ask. We have material senses. So how to ask spiritual beings, beings uh, to help us. So and the secret is, the hidden secret is giving by our Gurudev. He is giving mantras. These mantras are thousands of years old. And we are the first generation in the West well, it was Western bodies who got this secret mantras by the mercy of, of Gurudev and Narottam Das. <clears throat> Nityananda Janavama. In this, and then we understand, wow, we are under the umbrella of real Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And this is, these are the Goswamis, especially Rupa and Rati Manjari, Rupa Manjari. These are, uh, uh, they came together with Mahaprabhu to bless us with this and to store this blessing in a living way by the Sampradaya of our beloved gurus. This is not a treasure that is behind big walls. This treasure is a living treasure. He is giving this. Guru is giving to us and our uh, I will not, I would say in the Western language, our job is to store it I will save out. and save it, but not only save it to us, we have to give it to if we understand, realize it, then we also have to give to others. Then the line is living line.
So this is the beauty in this book. You can understand every detail. By the mercy of Navadana. He is a real Acharya. Because we know where he got his bath. That, that was a hidden place in the ocean. The Padma River. Padma River. Oh, I thought it was in the ocean. Yeah, an ocean of love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but my river was. Oh, wow. There he left his bath and he remembered Nahotam. But this is, this is a mystic thing because he was before him. Mahaprabhu was uh, actually in this world before Naratam appeared. But he remembered him. He called him also. And uh, in this way, he lost his bath on this water. And he stored, he stored. He stored it. And when Naratam entered this place, he got the bath directly from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is the proof that he is a real Acharya in our life. He got it directly from Mahaprabhu. It's so beautiful. And even if we read only him, we will get everything. What to speak about Rupa and Rati. It's really, really, all is in this book. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> this is... Uh, Jainanda is not here. He will say, oh, it's amazing. <laughs> right? Yeah, and it's so easy to <clears throat> understand. It's not complicated. No, no. <clears throat> Please. So the grace of the Lord moves through the world in two forms. For the benefit of all. Namely, Shri Guru and Shri Vaishnavas. Without taking shelter of the power of devotion to God, the living beings that are forgetful of the Lord and have been captured by ignorance since beginning last time cannot find any means any way to get out of the terrible grip of ignorance. I have this experience very much. When I was in this world, I feel I am trapped. I am looking for happiness. I'm looking for satisfaction, but it's nowhere available. I was feeling this so deeply that I became desperate to find a way. <coughs> Through the gate, no? it's the gate of love, this opening gate. We are looking for the gate, the divine gate. And the gate is Shigurus and Vaishnava's grace. The most merciful Lord reveals the world, the power of devotion in helping the conditioned souls turning towards him. Through the power of association and grace of the completely independent sadhus, independent sadhus and the guru, the conditioned souls that have forgot the Lord since beginning last time attain taste for Sri Krishna Bhajan for. Radha Mohan's Pacha. What is the meaning of independent sadhus? Yeah, that is interesting to feel. Because the sadhus are not uh, bought by any amount of donation. You know, money cannot buy them. Institutions cannot buy them. They are independent in their own devotion. 
because they are not interested into material uh, assets, into material collections. Mm. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? I don't. I really don't know. It's, uh, what what do you feel, Ataka? Independence. Oh. Means <coughs> a person who has pure love. Wherever this person goes, is welcome. Means he is just transcendental to all the, you know, all the. Uh, Radha and Krishna just don't, uh, how to say, limit this kind of person. Mm. So for me, therefore, because they don't, don't limit him. Ah, you are envious, therefore you cannot go there. No, you have love. You can go there. Independent. That's a good, also, that's a good point. I can, I can... Uh, Unlimited love, unlimited supported, yeah. Sadhus, Sadhu who has love, he is supported, he is welcome, he is taken care of, he just goes, and wherever he goes, he just gives love. Therefore, Radha and Krishna don't, don't, don't like say no, no. They say they just say yes, 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 no problem. I feel, I feel like this. they don't misuse their independence, no? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Maybe what, what like inspired me, what you say, is independent from this material world. Mm. This is independent. <clears throat> the sadhus who are actually in the spiritual abode, they are independent from this world. This is, the, I think, this is what. Maybe with no more conditionings of the ego and the mind. This comes now to me. What you say? Yeah, there's many possibilities. I feel, I feel that people who are, people who are, uh, uh, why people are not free? Why people are not given freedom? Because if some in some uh, this material consciousness means that I will hurt myself and others. So Radha and Krishna doesn't don't like this. So they give us small space where, where we can do this. <laughs> but when we have love, why to limit. Like, why to limit love? They don't want to limit. They give love and give all the freedom in independence. Depend. I remember there is a descri uh, uh, description somewhere about Shiva. He is a sadhu. Mm. And there is this example of this uh, lotus leaf. Ah. Even if it is in this world, uh, and is in the in the water, lotus flower. Lotus flower, no? But when water drops on the lotus flower, muddy low, water doesn't stay. No. Is not touched. Is not in. Yeah, yeah. Goes in, and this is maybe the meaning of this independent. Uh, sadhus, because Shiva is also independent. Mm. Yeah, he's Vaishnava. Shabu, the biggest sadhu, the biggest Vaishnava. Yeah, no? So then, maybe in this we can understand this. What is? You see, when we speak about it, it reveals. It can, no? yeah. Some, some. Now I remember uh, in uh, in uh, Madhurya Kadambi, Vishwana says there are two personalities of Godhead. Too independent. They are completely independent of each other and they are independent of ev on everything else. One is Krishna, one is Radha. Hmm. <laughs> Radha is free to do whatever she likes because of this unconditional love. Whatever she does is amazing. Yeah. Krishna also, whatever he does is amazing. Why do? Limit. Why to limit? And all oh, then I also feel that the Radhaized or Krishnaized means also like this, like Krishnaized and Radhaized. <laughs> like we become like sadhus become like Radha, like Krishna. In our case, like Radha's das. We are always we are never independent in this way. That's so mm. we are uh, always dependent on, on her.
Yes. Yeah, but this is also meaning of independence from material. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and through their mercy. And there it says, uh, Anatta's Babaji used the word, the power of association, it's power. Power makes breakthrough. Nah? Mm. If there's a mountain and you have to go through the gate and there's a blockage, then you need a high, you know, how do you say, explosion. You need somebody like Balaram's empowered personalities, Nitai's empowered, empowered personalities who can break through the conditions of our, you know, limited uh, uh, nature. And they can have the power to give the grace and to give the taste for bhajan. So it's their mercy. If we have taste for bhajan, it's their mercy. And those who take shelter of the path of bhakti and take the practical service of the sadhu, means daily, menial service, very practical. That what you give this example. Can I yeah, give you something to drink? What you would like to eat? You have a little snack yeah. and it comes from the heart. It's not by passion. And even not by asking, do you do you like? Do you need? It is like a this? Flow. No. By inspiring, and no, wow, now it's around four. Gurudev is waking up. Maybe he needs some snack he will like it and so we are saying behave to our Swami this, this is his teaching how to behave as a Manjari after some time by teaching of Gurudev and also Lalita and the other uh, uh, Sakis Manjaris we will learn what is the need what to do in that moment yeah. And we will not for every step ask, oh Radha Rani, do you need something? This is a wrong. No, no, we are now exactly, oh, for her. She needs some joy. And I think also when we come, for example, here to Mongya Rajmandir, we, after some time, we learn the different timings. Mm. When do yeah. we gather in the mornings? And then exactly. somebody is exactly. making the snacks, like now our, our Satya Bharataji and his, uh, Madhuya Ras, na, they arrange something and then something else will arrange a drink and it's like in the flow of love. Yeah, absolutely. It starts morning, early morning at 3, 3.30, then Pujari, Shiva Pujari opens the Samadhis and you can listen to some voice at 4. The bells ringing to Manu uh, Arati, uh, and so every moment there is something happening here. And you know the signs, and, huh? And if you stay here in Vraj, what he said, mm -hmm. then exactly you learn for every minute what happened, and you know exactly what is the need, and then you can see which service is giving to me. There is no need to do everything because there are many devotees who have some experience in cooking, coffee, and then different fruits and salads. Fruits, salads, and uh, or uh, of some uh, taking care of the health, 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 healthy, and so on. Every devotee, every manjari is expert in something. Technical manjaris. Technical walls. Wow, so Repairing important. manjaris. Yes, Wi-Fi. Without Wi-Fi, we cannot speak to you in the whole world. <laughs> and this is it's such a nice, such so nice to see how many service is needed. Prem Prasad. There are so many involved in brain prasad. It's a team no? of the mm, books yeah. and the distributors and the cleaners so of the nice. and making pictures. It's like, but the, the, the beautiful thing that uh, we all experience by being here, it's a flow. It happens in a flow of love. Right. 
we have a service and then I, I look, oh, there's some service, can I help you? And then yes. comes another service and then maybe some new devotees come. Yeah. Oh, you would like some service? Oh, I can recommend you here, you know. And then this is the flow. And when everything is happening in this flow of love, then this atmosphere here is increasing so much to go deep in our yeah. bhajan that Gurudev can be deep in bhajan and also all of us can go deep. Forget all this, it translators. Yeah, sorry, you can learn so fast. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say, we are so inspired what you, what you speak about, these wonderful, wonderful obstacles. I'm happy to be in this wonderful association and I have to learn much uh, which way I have to serve. This is the important way for me to find out every day. Um, to find it out, and it's a it's a completely another position as before. For one or two years, I have only the, oh, what I need, what can I do, what can I make, which Shiva puja I can make. Now it's a complete different way to to say in, in every situations in my material and spiritual world, how can I serve? Which please show me which way I can serve. Every time I can give so much, and this is a wonderful yeah. blessing for you from, from you and from Gurdiv, and I'm so happy. Thank you to say. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Love, love, love to you. We love you and we miss you, uh, but we are like the Zooms, and it's so nice to see you together sitting and this wonderful satsang. Also, uh, it's so nice. Yeah. We can and learn. In Gurudev's room, the flow of service is meanwhile going on and on and on, unlimited. Wonderful. Un yes. Yes, that's right, Padeshwari. We have to find out what is our talent and what is the desire of our Swamini. Or even here, as long as we are in the service in the uh, Mungir Mandir. What is our uh, service here? But it's all through this uh, uh, for Radha Mohan. We do for Radha Mohan. Yeah, we are in the flow of when, serving when, them. When we serve our Gurudev, we do it to Radha Mohan because he is the servant of Radha Mohan. So as we are his smaller child who are get trained yeah. by his hand. And so we learn what is our talent and what is the need. And if you are here, you will easily find a service. What depends on your talent? Yeah. And in your, in your case, I, I know that you're a, such a good musician, singer, singer and also position of this guitar, guitar right? harmonium, yeah, and so this is uh, this is a uh, uh, Gurudev. Now we have, uh, I don't know. I feel that there is a dozen uh, 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 groups of musicians here around. Twenty-four hour kirtan. Possible. Yeah, yeah, it's always increasing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Small group from Japan now uh, is doing bhajan in front of the samadhis. Yeah. Since wow. today, they start today and oh, wow. doing bhajan, they're sitting there. A, so new, nice. a new service are manifesting. And through the power of this service also, which comes from the heart, more service can develop. Sure. It's like increasing up and more upper and more upper. So, and on the strength, I will also continue a little bit because there's so much nectar I want to share with you because we, <laughs> we have only started. On the strength, by the strength of such Guru Vaishnava Bhakti, all bad habits are swiftly destroyed or all obstacles, let's say, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the clouds of our material existence that are sometimes covering still our hope and our faith, but on the strength of such Guru Vaishnava Bhakti, all these are swiftly, means in the flow, they will be destroyed. 
we should have a faith in it. It will happen. Because Balaram and Nitai and Ananga Mandri are there to protect us, to guide us and to take all obstacles. And they will reach accomplishment in attaining the Lord along with Prema for him. This has been stated by all the scriptures. So this is giving a lot of power no? to know that the strength of this connection in service and in uh, loving relationships with Shri Guru and the Vaishnavas, that has the power to help me overcome again and again any kind of weakness in my life. That's a very important point, Suniti, because now in these days, there are so many uh, things that uh, makes us crazy, like uh, when we speak about uh, this material world, then our mind get occupied from these topics. I only like to remember on this Corona that makes us crazy. We are then, our mind and our consciousness is then fully in the material world. And we lost our fixing one-pointedness in our seva. But if we really fix our mind in the seva, like Dautam does said, I only speak about this book now. Uh, this is not my speculation. Dautam, in many verses, he prayed to the mind that he gets one pointed to his service to our service, to our Swamini, that we remember her and his form or Rupa. All this we have to fix, then our mind is then on the next level, on the higher abode. <coughs> and we are not touched by the material. Then we also get this quality like the lotus flower. We are in the in the water in this material world, but not touched by this water. This is when we follow exactly this path of Nahotamdas or the other Goswamis. Then we are safe for this because we don't care about these other topics. We listen it and okay, but we are not online on this platform. We are online on the higher platform, in our service. This is what they are teaching us. And if we are uh, proper students, we can learn this. And then we are in a great happiness. So, now comes a quote of Srimad Bhagavat, which is also very nice. It is... Uh, a conversation between Shinada Adamuni, Shiva's Pandit, in this Gaudiya times, and King Yudhishthir. They were discussing how to overcome the different obstacles that make me weak in my bhakti. And Narada giving this advice to King Yudhishthir, who was such a wise king and such a great Vaishnava, one of the Pandavas. They gave up everything for their beloved Sri Krishna. So, and he said, to give up lust, one must give up one's determination to enjoy. To give up anger, one must give up lust. And to give up greed, one must see the negative influence of money. Fear can be given up by considering the truth. Hmm? 
Lamentation and illusion can be given up by considering what is material and what is spiritual by rational thinking. Pride can be given up by serving a great soul. And obstacles in yoga practices, which serves the purpose of fixing the mind, can be overcome by practicing silence. Violence is conquered by giving up endeavors for sense gratification. Suffering caused by other living entities can be mitigated by developing the quality of compassion. Suffering caused by the elements can be mitigated by entering into samadhi. And suffering caused by the own body and mind can be mitigated by practicing the eightfold path of mystic yoga. When the mode of goodness increases sleep, uh, <laughs> when the mode of goodness increases, it's getting stronger, sleep is conquered. Along with the modes of passion and indolence or ignorance. By controlling the senses, the mode of goodness is transcendent. So this was like a like a quite, you know, I didn't go into details because that alone can be taking so much. But, but it's it's also a, uh, it's interesting in the same book. Now Atam does describe the same, but not how to conquer these, but how to use mm. properly mm. the greed, anger, lust. He is not telling about how to conquer this, but how to use it in the service. And that means transformation of this material obstacles but also he says uh, like a, he says now all the vices and obstacles together can be conquered simply by being devoted to the guru <laughs> so, oh, shortcut <laughs> yes and, and in our case our guru uh, is just telling this also. We have to bring our energies because lust is a heavy energy. Like Sigmund Freud said, it is libido. Without this, we are in a very uh, inactive state. If there is no this power, this is in this world, it's a big power. Passion. Passion. We can use it in the service. And greed also. Many things we have to transform in a positive devotional service way. Then it's proper, safe. Yes, the scriptures say that the perfection of devotion is attained by serving Shibu. Service. Service to Shiguru is the supreme religious practice. There is no purer religious practice than this anywhere in the world. And we know how deep the connection was between Navatam Das and this Guru Lokanath Goswami. Just as copper turns into gold by being touched by Siddha Rasa, similarly, the disciple becomes filled 
with Prema by being in touch with Sri Guru. The meaning is that just as Siddha Ras is not dependent on any other substance due to its inconceivable power, Siddha Ras means the feelings, the Ras, the juice of a Siddha, someone who has ta attained perfection. If we come together with our Guru Manjari, who is in perfection in her service to Srimati Radhika, by this touch, I also come in service with Srimati Radhika. In right. the right the feelings. Next, on the next, this is the meaning of perfection, that we are in service in Sitadeya. Perfection starts when we are enter Sitadeya and do service there. Then perfection starts. And Gurudev always say that then everything we think on it, it will happen. Same moment. We desire it will happen. And all, this is what Gurudev said. And also Nahotam is explaining this in this book also. If, wow. we, if we reach perfection in our Sita Deya, in the service, Everything happens. My God, I don't uh, should not lose the time now because I'm getting a little bit nervous because the I don't want to interrupt the next uh, Zoom. What is it? Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Ten minutes. <laughs> My God, I think we should continue it next time because there's so much more nectar coming about the power of service to Shri Guru and the Vaishnavas. Yeah, so. And this subject is so encouraging. One thing more I want to add, because today also some devotees again got mantras, got initiation, and here it says, the mantra is identical to the Guru, and the Guru is identical to Sri Hari himself, or we would say Sri Radhi herself. There is no difference whatsoever between Mantra, Guru, and Hari. Sri Hari is automatically satisfied with whom the Guru is satisfied. And in the Padma Purana, these words of Devahuti are seen. If I have more devotion to the Guru than to Hari, then may Sri Hari grant me his darshan through this truth. Here the words Tatvarishta show that devotion to the Guru is more glorious than devotion to the Lord himself. But now we have to also understand what kind of realization we have about Sri Guru. And here again comes the connection with the deep meditation on the spiritual form of Sri Guru and myself as servant of Guru Mantra. Then this bond Guru says, it becomes like a navel to navel connection. I love these examples. It's like the mantra, the mala, it's the navel. We are connecting through the mantras like a you know disciple to the guru, but also baby to the mother. Means my guru mantrari is giving me nourishment, what I need, the kata and the relations of my own, you know, Siddha Deha realizations that I can, we can meet there. I remember one class many years ago when Gurudev was sitting here behind on this beautiful bed and he said, I'm always waiting for you. When are you coming? When will you come in your spiritual forms? When we can serve together? 
Swamini, with all the other friends. I was waiting for you. So this is confirmation that devotion to Shri Guru, understanding of Shri Guru, and connection to the mantras through the service is more glorious than devotion to Lord himself. You like this, Gurdi? You agree? <laughs> Radhi, Radhi. <laughs> And then another quote comes about what Krishna tells to Arjuna. Oh Parta, oh Arjuna. Those who are only devoted unto me are not really my devotees. <laughs> You should know, however, that those who are the devotees of my devotees are my greatest devotees. So that is already a meditation that is so sweet. We like to be the Dasi, Anudasi, Anudasi, Anudasi. Lord Chaitanya himself was giving this example. Being in the feeling of the servant of the servant of the servant of the gopis, and in our case, our dear Shrimati Radhika, who is the source of all the gopis, our Ishta Devi, then it is our real identity. And from there, everything will flow into nourishment, the connection that nourishes my heart, our hearts, all together. So if I serve anyone who is in the beautiful service, then this is like the same touch of the Chintamani. Yeah. yeah? Touch stone. That's why the Vaishnavas also, ex you know, like compared to the touch stone. When you touch their service mood and you come in touch with service, you also will become full of love and full of faith and all obstacles will be destroyed. There is a secret behind this Das Anu Das Anu Das also. To understand what is the real meaning of this, we have to understand the meaning of Sampradaya. Because if we serve our Gurudev, that means Das. And he serve his Gurudev, this means Das Anudas. And his Gurudev served them Gurudev. Das Anudas Anudas. So automatically, when we serve our Gurudev, we are Das Anudas Anudas. And by the mercy of our Gurudev, we got the names of the whole Sampradaya, beginning with Janavama, to the point when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was here in this world. It's only a few years ago. And so, if there is no interruption, no cut in the Sampradaya, we are really Das Anu Das. If we are in the light of a, of a real Guru. And this is the greatest blessing we can get. And it's described also in this beautiful verse. verse and in this beautiful book explained by who, which is? She, Ananta Gospamji. This Ananta this Gospamji is story. And he is always versing Vishwana Chakravati Thakur, Jiva Goswami. He's worth, you know, all the Vaishnavas, all the Siddha Mahatmas he is supporting, you all see, the scriptures. This is not. Uh, this is not our words. We are only replaying this, this, uh, the words of the Acharyas. This is like Prabhupada do the same. How many times he speaks about Vishwana Chakravati If you read his books, no? he, so many times he said, like 
Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur said. You can read Bhagavad Gita, you will find many times he will he, he, uh, take his, no? and also Navatam Das, Rupa Goswami, always take shelter on the Acharya's words. So this is the beauty. So thank you, my dears, because the next uh, Zoom wonderful Kirtan class is coming. I don't want to uh, be obstacle. I want to be in service of also that Zoom of uh, our dear all devotees from all over the world who are sending videos to Sridhavaya and to uh, is Shrida still doing it or are you doing it now? What's his name? Sundaram. Yes. So I don't want to interrupt it. And Gurudev, please bless us today that we may attain <coughs> this beautiful goal. What we talk about, bless us and give this mercy that we always can serve you somehow in an in, even incomplete way you are so merciful you take all our services and you help us so much Oh, we cannot listen you, Guru, if somehow the sound is not coming. Hmm? I try to connect so some words can sound. sound. 5.30 oh, oh, is Kirtan oh, oh. class, right? Oh, 5.30. Oh, 5.30. Kirtan class? When it will start? Yeah, Sunita yes. Didi, you have, you have 20 minutes more, if you wow. like it. Ah, ah, Sundaram. My God. Ah. Thank you. Yes, I like. I don't want to. I just don't want to overrun. Yes, this subject is one of the most beautiful subjects that the... The power of worship of the devotees or service to the devotees. Every scripture, all uh, sadhus, all, you know, all the different, different sources that we have, may it be from the vision of our Swamini, uh, from the vision of Sri Krishna, from the vision of any Vaishnava, any sadhu, any saint, they apply the same principles if we become the servants of the servants the Darcy of the Darcy this is where my good luck begins and where the, the all, all good uh, things happen to us all obstacles will go and will be overcome all hope will grow okay then We continue. Wonderful. Thank you all. After this, Srila Thakur, he make it first, uh, he make it, you know, sure that the scriptures say that if you worship Shiguru and the Vaishnavas, everything will be accomplished. And after this, Srila Thakur Mahashai speaks about the internal worship of the Raga Mark Bhaktas, the Raga Nuga Bhaktas, or the Ra Rupa Nuga Bhaktas. I will be following the opinions of the Sakis in all respects and belonging to a particular yuta or group of Sakis. I will always serve Shishi Radha Mahan and their sakis in my mentally conceived Siddha Deha as they enjoy in the kingdom of Leela.
So we are practicing it in this world. We are feeling this connection and this service mode. We are helping each other. We are assisting and we feel the flow of love. And also in the spiritual, about in my spiritual existence and Siddha Deha, the same thing continues. There are elderly sakis or you know the 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 ashta sakis that are serving Shrimati Radhika is our elder sakis like we are knowing that in our line we are following Lalita Saki. But then before that we have two manjaris is Ananga Manjari and Rupa Manjari. So we are in this line. If we meditate about our Gayatri Mantras, we know this is the Yuta, the group that we belong to, belong to us. We are in the group of servants of Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari is the trainer and the boss of all the Manjaris. And then when Rupa Manjari thinks that this Manjari is now ready. She can go to further services for server train, further training. Then we will go and be trained by Ananga Manjari. And Ananga Manjari is the one that really is testing all the deepest, deepest points in my existence. Always checking. And one time, Gurudev, you remember, then I ask you, when will this checking end? <laughs> and you said, that is a very good question. So that uh, purification is also part of this. It's not only that uh, that is always the fun part, and sometimes also ego is being destroyed the wrong conceptions are cut and that is also the mercy that uh, through the pr training of our elderly uh, mantras, our elder sakis, we will be able to become the servant of Shrimati Radhika that is really uh, the jewel that we can be and that jewel must be uh, cut first so that it will be shiny and that it will be very um, effective. Navatam here generally speak about sakis. Yeah. But to understand this, there is some, some fine tuning needed. No? Because sakis are. This is actually the older ones, but also he, he speaks here Sakis also when he means sometimes the Manjaris. Mm. So we have to find out which group he actually uh, speaking from, because that has to be clear to everybody of us uh, in the identification of our own spiritual body and uh, service. So, in our case, we are really only identified by those, he said, Narmasakis, uh, who are these Manjaris? This is the meaning of bath, maybe not so much in the age, but more of the bath. It will also come here now. Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. this is one more description. By Ananda yeah, always it is uh, more details coming. An aspirant should think himself to be amongst them, the other gopis or sakis, as an enchanting, beautiful, young, adolescent female. As a female associate of Radha and Krishna's girlfriends, such as Lalita and Vishaka and Sri Rupa Manjari. No, this is the 
order or it's like an elder uh, like in our case it's lalita and then an anga mantra and then rupa mantra and she is dedicated to the services to shishi radha mohan that are ordered to her and she is decorated with jeweled ornaments that are given to her by Sri Radha as remnants, this prashadic clothes. Yes, this is a verse uh, spoken by the Hotam Dats. So this is now again he explained this verse from Lahotam Dats to uh, to clear the point. What is a gopi? What is a saki? Uh, that, yeah. that we actually know about ourselves and not mix this uh, yeah, even in the bath. That, that could be a, a problem when we mix it. No? That always Gurudev uh, 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 fix this point as a very important point. For Narottam, he used mainly Saki in general, sometimes also Gopi and Manjari. But actually, this is a, a special group of the Sakis we are. He is now speaking. Yes. yes, the Mandri is Varun. That is also now given again like an extra understanding. After the Gaudiya Vaishnavas take shelter of the lotus feet of Shiguru, they receive acquaintance from within, uh, from him, from him. With their own Mandri Swarup in Siddha Pranali with a Katash Bhav. Wow. So that uh, we can receive from Shri Guru if the time is there for our eagerness and from Shri Guru to say, Yes, I will give to you now. If we get the mercy, if Shri Guru is also inspired by Shri Radhika. Gurudev always says, it's not me who's giving, it's Srimati Radhika. She is using me as the tool. I am just the channel. And when she is giving this, then I can also be the channel and give. So first, we take shelter of the lotus feet of Sri Guru and then receive acquaintance. Means he's a making us in connection with our own Manjari Swarup, our own form in the spiritual form as a Dasi of Srimati Radhika in Siddha Pranali. That means the perfected channel of love from one Mandri to another Mandri to another Mandri, which are our gurus in our sampradaya. Well, again, uh, saying das and das and das. Yes, and then we get this connection in our spiritual forms, in our spiritual identities, with ekadash bhav. That means our spiritual personality is put on the light, we can see what kind of dress is it that I'm wearing, what kind of color of the skin, what kind of service, what kind of mood I have. All these details are given. And then is our next step. It's not that it's given and then it's like boom, boom, boom. No, then what it says, we have to realize it. It's it's there. It's like a gift of a possibility. It's a channel that has been opened. And then establishing our self-esteem in this. Establishing our, you know, full identity with this. The sadaka proceeds in rendering mental service to Shishi, Radha, and Mohan throughout the eight time periods of the day. Mental service, mm -hmm. again. No? So, this is really a, a, a book, it's a, it's a prayer to the mind uh, to control the mind by this mental service. What you say, Suniti, to remember our own body. 
and the body of the yoga lucky shore and the service and so on and so on. It's so beautiful. And again and again, many yes, times. Because we always time. need this. We always need this uh, confirmation, so to say. You know, yes. that, uh, the mind and the heart become one and we move from manovritti to chitta vritti and then to service internally realized and you know gifted by mercy also so that it says here that is the last sentence we are meditating like this that was also the beginning of the verse and when he achieves city when the perfection is growing when we are ripe he will be blessed with direct devotional service within that swaru beautiful Perfect. Sita means some perfection. Yes, and, and there's another very famous verse where uh, Narottam says, there's only one difference between being ripe and unripe. And then in between, you know, when we get one unripe fruit, no? we cannot shake the fruit and then say, become ripe, become ripe. <laughs> No, no, he, he, uh, he explained ripe and unripe as the spontaneous, uh, loving uh, service and the process mm. to, uh, to do something in the process, like uh, a body, like uh, a ritual. This is unripe state. And when it comes to the state of spontaneous, loving service, then he said it's right. No? Yes, blessed with direct devotional service within that spiritual body, with that spiritual existence in the spiritual realm. My God, Gurudev, I don't know what you did to my Goda Sunda tonight. He is uh, beaming and flowing with this nectar. He was uh, giving so much nectar today. No, this is Navata. Yeah, I'm but you... Inspired by Gurudev. <laughs> <laughs> Radhe Radhe, oh. Meeti Ji. Yeah, Daya Meeti, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Now, if there is still some time, uh, yeah, I would like to yeah, ask time. something. How to uh, passive, um, how to put together, um, before we was reading that uh, service of the Guru, Guru Dev and Vaishnava is even bigger than service to do to do Krishna in this say in this case we can say Ishta Deva no in in the same time Gurudev oftenly said that uh, he want to um, say that we are that Guru is not the goal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so how to pacify yeah. this these things? Uh, maybe uh, in this is understanding on many levels. So how to understand properly? And, yeah, and on the proper level. I, yeah, this happens every day practically here. When I try to say something, then Guru always says, no, I've got to go. And that is actually when we have this misconception of bodily uh, form of Guru you know, and we become, we don't go into the spiritual connection. Like he once said, like I give this example, Guru said, I'm waiting there for you. Are you doing your homework? Are you practicing this mental, you know, connection with your swaru? I can say I do it far too less and far too, you know, not so, you know. I, I think Gurudev says this to make us realize that it can only happen on the spiritual level if we are connected from soul, body or swaru to swaru. Then we can together serve our Ishta Devi, Shrimati Radhika. That's the point. We, we are all Manjaris. He is actually a little older than we, maybe one day. And uh, yes, we serve, we serve her, sure. But together we serve Swamini. And even if we serve our Param Gurudev also, when we serve him or her, 
And all the Sampradayas we serve, when we serve Him, it's a big thing. But the whole Sampradaya actually is serving our Swamini, right? Because we are in this line. And He teaches us in this line as His Guru teach Him. And He give it to us so that we learn how to serve Swamini. Not actually how to serve Him. We have to serve Him to get all these blessings we need for the service of Swamini. Sure, now if you, even in this world, if you like to get an education, you have to serve the Master somehow. But the goal is not to serve the Master. The goal is to get the education by the mercy of the Master. And so these Masters are coming here since Mahaprabhu is uh, coming. And they give it as a mercy, as a blessing to the next generation. So actually, we could say we are in the direct connection to Mahaprabhu by our Gurudev. This is there is not never a block or a cut in the whole line since four, four five hundred years. So we all together, all in this line, we are all not, there are not old, maybe four hundred years, this, this first uh, 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 disciples, they are not now uh, uh, four hundred years old. They are still 11 years and some months. And we are all together in this. And the goal is not really to serve the Manjari. No, the goal is to serve all together our Swami. This is the, the only difference between and that we have to understand. Because otherwise we are on the material platform. If we serve only with our material senses to our material body, embodied guru, this could not be the goal. And this is the secret behind that, what Guru Dev is telling us. I'm always with my guru. How can be that? He, is, he is not in the body. 